Of all the folks who went west looking for gold, one family went further, dug deeper, and stayed longer. Come on, sweetheart. Can you hand me the pins? They settled in the marble mountains of Northern California, in a region so difficult to reach, they still don't have electricity. Each day, Chet McBroom does what his father did, pick down six tons of ore. If he's lucky, he'll find a few flecks of gold. If I had to do over again, you know what I'd change? Nothing. Chet's granddaddy was one of the first prospectors to pack into this remote wilderness. He never got rich, but he liked it so much, he struggled out and walked back across the continent to tell his 14-year-old bride he'd found home. Why don't you just bring the whole basket down here, okay? The McBrooms have remained in this faraway place for six generations, despite floods and fires and winters that cut them off from the outside world. Do you ever feel sometimes that the 20th century is passing you by? Well, if it is, I don't care. I haven't seen that much of it that I'm that crazy about. They prefer to provide for themselves. Still, these mountains cannot wall out change forever. Wookie McBroom has begun to marvel at the plains he sees overhead. I thought it was weird how they stayed in the air. I didn't think you could do that, but they can. Their home is remote, but a school bus links them with other families that live widely scattered in this wilderness. When Erlene's son got married the other day, they all stitched their names on a quilt, so the couple would never feel alone. The church was in a town an hour and a half away. The newlyweds rode home on a blanket of good wishes and a brass bed that neighbors had bought for them. The wedding occurred on the only weekend the McBrooms could expect to pull a crowd in these parts. How you doing? The one between hunting seasons. It took so long for folks to get here, no one wanted to leave. They danced until dawn, even the newlyweds. Sharon and Glenn had planned to spend their honeymoon at some casino on the other side of the mountains. But they couldn't think of any place that they liked any better than right here. They could swim and dredge and stay on the river, so they decided not to go anywhere. <laughs> this was their honeymoon. Well, you're, you're probably going to get a lot more $2 winners right here. <laughs> <laughs> you might. They did, just as McBrooms have been doing around here since gold rush days. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Sawyer's Bar, California.